let's work on question 38 now so suppose the government needs to raise a given amount of tax revenue on the markets for good x and good y combined now he wants to minimize the loss in efficiency due to taxation and there's going to be an add valor in tax on producers of gold of good x and good y so the optimal tax on the market for good x is equal to the tax on the market for good y is that true or false now what do we know about this if we want to minimize the loss in efficiency we want to have the tax uh, for good x multiplied with the elasticity of demand for good x equals to to the tax of good y multiplied with the elasticity of demand for good y okay how do we solve that well we have to know the taxes and we have to know the elasticities now we already found out the elasticity we already found out the elasticity for good y we calculated in the previous video over here it was minus 2 over 3 so minus 2 over 3 but what we also want is the elasticity for good x now i cropped here some data that we solved for x because with this data we can calculate the elasticity for good x so we have the we have the equilibrium quantity demanded for good x and the equilibrium price and we also have the slope of the quantity demanded function with respect to price that's going to be minus 1 over 5 in other words we can calculate the elasticity of demand for good x which is equal to the price of good x divided by the quantity demanded of good x in equilibrium multiplied with the derivative of the quantity demanded with respect to price okay so the price of good x in equilibrium is equal to is equal to 100 euros the quantity demanded is equal to 30 units right we have it from here the quantity demanded is 30 units multiplied with the slope which is minus 1 over 5 so minus 1 over 5 now let's see how we solve that 105 cancel out so 105 cancel out we are left with 20 now 20 divided by 30 is 2 over 3 times minus 1 it becomes minus 2 over 3 so this is going to be the elasticity of demand for good x as we said the elasticity of demand for good y is also minus 2 over 3 so let's substitute this data into our formula for minimizing efficiency for minimizing the loss in efficiency and see what we what we find out so over here we're going to substitute the elasticity of demand for good x which is minus 2 over 3 tax of x minus 2 over 3 is equal to the tax on good y multiplied with also minus 2 over 3 now what do we see if we cancel out the minus 2 over 3s because they are equal then we're left with tax on good x equals to tax on good y and i think that's what the question says it tells that in the optimal tax on the market is equal to the tax uh, so the optimal tax on market of good x is equal to the tax on the market for good y and that's true and we are done